Welcome to the Eye here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, as the Florida Storm play host to an ancient rival of theirs, the Denver Nightwings. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Colin Lukup, and joining me in the broadcast booth this week is Anthony Ellison. How are you doing, buddy? Colin, I'm doing fantastic. I'm excited to start the week off, game one of this week. This is a beautiful matchup. A rival game is always good because they just they bring more to the table. They know each other more than any other team when they face each other. So I'm really excited. Alongside statisticians Ron Haynes and Axel Raven, second producer Kevin Irvine, we're here to kick off another week of SFL action. Here for week 11, these two teams, they met in a couple championship games. Denver hasn't won since the season 16 championship game. They're currently two and six. Florida hasn't lost since week 11 of last year. They're undefeated at eight and oh. And they look to continue to get signs rolling. Denver has been on the negative side as far as close games go. And for Florida, they've had all the luck. So it's going to be very important. I really want to see what Art Vandelay, the, the, the offensive and defensive coordinator, how they can keep Florida motivated when they already have clinched a playoff spot. If I'm Denver, I want to come out aggressive and hot. You have a really good quarterback that's good high in completion percentage, but don't take this game lightly, Florida. It'll start with a knee in the end zone. The ball comes out to the 20. Gene Struthers It's the quarterback. Number 10. He leads the league in completion percentage with 66.2. And he'll start with two people in the backfield. We'll introduce you to the rest of the offense after this play, which is a first and 10 for the Nightwings. From their own 20 yard line, Struthers back to throw, and he'll go down right away for a loss of six yards. Not a good start for Denver, Anthony. Nope, not at all. That's the, the exact opposite of what you want to see. But this has been Florida's defense the entire season right here. They play aggressive, and when you play aggressive, you cause toner, turnovers. They have 13 turnovers for the season, and right there, that causes turnovers because you have to force the ball quickly. Now you got to keep an eye on those blitzes right there. You might have to add an extra person in the backfield to block. Running backs are Bailey O'Shaughnessy and the number one overall pick, Ash Ketchum. Ari Mills is the fullback. Dalton Barker, Logan Keel, Jeremy Mosley, Dylan Lewis are the wide receivers. Get to the tight ends after this play, which is a completion to Logan Keel underneath. Pick up about three yards, set up a third and 14. Tight ends are Keith Wheeler and Chris Alter. And Smokey Bar is the left tackle. Here's Struthers, again under center. That's five wide up, Adam. Man in motion is Barker. Rookie, pick number 45 in the draft. Struthers back to throw, under pressure, down he goes again as the sack is made. But number 48, Adam Jones on the corner blitz. So, so it, it's a risk and reward. When you have an empty backfield, you got nobody to block. So your offensive tackles have to take a deeper step back. When I mean deeper step back, you have to get more back towards the pocket because those defensive ends are going to loop around. It's a third and long. They knew there was going to be a passing situation. So your offensive tackles, they need to kick back a little bit further to push those defensive ends out. If not, it's going to be a long game. Run is away from Denver. Turn up the middle is Vandalay through a couple of folks and he's down at the Denver 35. Ron Cochran, the Hall of Famer, is the quarterback in his 14th year. He's got a halfback behind him, Charlie Bullet Belensky, number 33. Chris Komasek is the fullback, number 28. Wide receiver Stephen Bush, who's the team leader in receiving touchdowns at five. Caleb Giffis. Art Vandele, who leads the team in yards. Bobby Tarantino, Ron Haynes, and Nate LeMay are the tight ends. William Davidson is the left tackle. And Joseph White and Greg McDonaldson are the guards. Pitch out play, this is to Boletsky, and Boletsky stopped after a pickup of two, tackle made by number 24 for Denver, that is Andre Tucker. He's joined in the defensive backfield by Nick Kindler, Luke Schreiner, free safety Lucas DeBoer, and strong safety Jeff Malishan. 
up front, defensive line, Gerald, Gerald Columbus, Hugo Reynosa, defensive ends, Brenda Pup and Joseph Saboka, defensive tackles. Luis Quintana, Stuart Gotts, and Stefan Forge are the linebackers. And Xavier Rowe, the third, rounds out the defense for Denver. Is that throw and complete? Tornado ready for Ford. And if you're Denver, you want to stop him right here. You didn't have a good um, offensive possession right there. You went three and out. So hopefully the defense can cause a three and out as well for Florida. This is really key early in the game. Third and eight. They'll go four wide bush in motion to make it a two by two. This is going to be a shovel pass underneath. Valeski has a long way to go, and he doesn't get there. Good. Got seven good. needed eight. Good job by Denver right there. He got past the first defense, but good job maintaining your lanes as a linebacker right there. He was able to make that tackle, and that's what you want to do. It's, you know, you, you, you don't want him to get in field goal range, but if you can only give up three potentially, that's better than giving up seven. Ethan Sneed on for the field goal, and he missed it. He wasn't able to draw it back in, and Florida comes away with nothing on the 42-yard field goal miss. And and right before that kick right there, yeah, it was 18. I think he was perfect for the field. He was actually first in the league in there. Just push it a little bit to the right. That right there, that's the motivation. That's the energy you need, Denver, to go back out there. Make some adjustments on your offense. You know that Florida wants to bring pressure. The defensive ends want to get to the backfield, add a little bit more of the blocking. First and 10 for Denver. Struthers under center, pitches it out. This is to O'Shaughnessy. He stopped in backfield for a loss of three. By number 58, outside linebacker Juan Mississippi. He's joined out there by Jesus Smith. Ryan Tobin inside, 13 here in the league all with Florida. Deontay Stoneville, Al Alessandro Tomello is the other defensive end. He had a sack. Hall of Famer Alex Dominguez at defensive tackle along with Pete Mitchell. We get to the DBs. The rest of them at the display is Mary Motion to the top of the screen. Another empty backfield, Anthony. And they protect better this time, although Struthers has to bail and run up the middle. He'll slide down to set up a third and four. So first of many adjustments for the coaches right there for Denver. So they know that they're going to be getting those defense ends, running those deep, like, deep pass rush. Good job stepping up in the pocket, climbing the pocket, and then just going for it. That means you got to stay home if you're Florida. They're going to play action. Struthers pumps. But oh, no, that was the wrong decision. The Hall of Famer, Big Sexy, comes in and nails him for a six sack in the air, and then it's another three and out for Denver. And now already, Denver, in two possessions, you got three sacks. This time, more of a cover sack right here. Great job by the interior lineman just doing a nice little swim move to get underneath the offensive lineman to get to the quarterback right here. And now setting up another punt to give it back to Florida. He was eighth in the league in sacks coming in with Dominguez, so add one more to his total. Fair catch called by Vandalay, this time at the Storm 40-yard line. Where it'll be first and 10. And a field goal miss on their last drive, Anthony, but they moved the ball well. Yeah, they got it in good field position right there. Um, what Florida's offense, they're the definition of balance here, so they're going to be running the ball pretty well with both of their, their halfbacks right here. It's just getting the establishment early on it. Pitch out. The let's get a broken tackle. Can't break the second one. As he picks up six on the play, it'll be second and four. Got it. Got to make that tackle right there. If you stop him initially, it's only a two yard gain instead of a six yard. Right here, but that's what Florida likes to do, running early in the downs. Cochran only one of two for seven yards here in the early going. Bush in motion to the bottom. We get another handoff. This is to Kamasak, lined up at the tailback spot to set up a third and two. 
and, and we're already seeing early the energy from both teams. You can tell this is a rival game right here. They're coming out, giving everything they can. I love Denver. It doesn't matter about their record. They are going to make it difficult. They're looking for the upset right here. Another big third and down coming. Third and two. Similar formation to the last down. This will be an end off the Kamazak up the middle. He gets the first down. Nice play call by Florida. And they'll move the chains. And, and I love the vision right there. My contact right there. Just waiting. It was a nice little ISO run right behind the guard. But just saw that they would have broke inside for the first down. Indeed, they were split backs. And the give off to Boletsky picks up about seven. It'll be second and three. If you're new to the Simulation Football League, welcome. The SFL is football for everyone. Get off the sideline. And start your player today by joining our Discord server at simulationfl.net. Click the Join Community button and begin your career or just to meet the stars of the SML on and off the field. It's never too late to do that. Three tight ends on the field for Florida. Turn, give to the backup tailback who breaks a couple of tackles and that's Florida another first down. Yeah, and then backup tailback right there. Uh... Looks like Adrian Kaysen. I love the patience, but look at the block right there by number 71. When you don't have nobody in front of you, you go to the next level and you make the block. I love the cop, uh, the, the cut block. It was a legal hit right there. I love it. Go to the next level, block that linebacker. It gave your running back enough time to get to that first down. Indeed, that was an outstanding block by the center there on Quintana, the inside linebacker for Denver. Draw play up the middle. Boletsky has all kinds of room. Picks up about seven yards. It'll be second and three. Warner continues to move the ball efficiently on the ground. And like we talked about earlier, it's, it's a balanced running game here. So you, we already seen four different rushers already in this game alone. But this is nothing special. This is just power running, running between the tackles, just waiting for the holes to open up and being patient. Florida averages 123 rush yards coming in. Thanks to plays like that as Kamazak runs over the first defender that he sees and lets learn another first down. And, and you see why Kamazak is eighth in the league with average rushing yards 4.3 because he wanted to put his head down and run people over and get to the end zone, which he's done eight times already this season. Boletsky's only reached the end zone once on the ground. And gets the ball here, pitch up, juke move, broken tackle. Gets up over to 20. He'll pick up five. It'll be second and five. And what Denver needs to start doing is maybe calling some blitz plays and shooting those gaps where they're, they're running the ball at. So you're trying to force them to make adjustments to bounce it to the outside or whatnot, but you got to put some pressure on them. Now Kaysen, the backup tailback, is in. He gets the ball up the middle, and he'll set up a third and one as we approach 220 and counting to go here in the opening quarter. And If I'm Florida, I am not passing the ball because Denver has not showed me this drive that you can stop the running game. I'm running right at, their, right at that defensive line for Denver. And they threw exactly that. First down and more as Kamasek shows up the fancy footwork to set him up at a first and goal. And, and, and I love it. You can tell that they're doing a run play. Watch the offensive linemen. Their hands are heavy on the front. All they want to do is they push off. I love the blocking there. And then you see the fullback come up and make a block to the linebacker. This is just smash mouth football, which I enjoy dearly right here. It's helmet to helmet. Who wants it more on either the offensive or defensive line? It'll be first and goal. All big people out there, three tight ends for the storm. One of them in motion out is for 87. That is LeMay. And Cochran goes down. So they pass for the first time in a long while on the drive. And it ends up a net positive for Denver as they get the sack. Gerald Combus, number 77, came flying in. 
and and that right there they just sent a all-out blitz which is really is a good call because they've been running the ball so much and florida was trying to catch them off guard with a passing play it just wasn't enough time denver sent more people than what florida can block it's a simple math equation you send one more than they have to block you're right about that second and goal Cochran over the middle, incomplete. Looking for Kamasek out of the backfield as Quintana makes a break on the ball to set up a third and goal. A, a great play by Quintana right there, just reading what the running back was doing. That was his assignment, was the, the running back right there. A good job stopping it. This is a big third and goal right here. Bunched to the top of the screen. Cochran under center surveys the situation. He's going to roll out to the bunch side. Throw it in the end zone. Tipped in and complete. Row the third. Able to knock it down. And it's fourth and goal, Anthony. What a red zone stop by Denver. It's, you know, we call it the bend but don't break defense. You might give up a lot of yards heading towards it. But remember, red zone offense is less yards, so it's a smaller area to do work in, and Denver did a great job stopping them. And this time, the field goal attempt splits the stick, so with 54 seconds left, along a 14-foot play drive covering 51 yards, and only net three points out of it, Anthony. And Florida flex first. It's a win for Denver, especially because you saw how easily they were getting pushed back. So if I'm Denver, I'm like, okay, we can do the same thing. We've been we've been in a lot of close games this season. We had a we have a quarterback that is highly, like, highly proficient in passing the ball right here. We just had to string some stuff together. Be careful with the empty back situation because Florida is taking advantage of the empty backfield with sending pressure. Ball flies out of the back of the end zone. It'll be first and 10. Ball out to the 20. Druthers, he's been sacked a couple of times already. Let's see what the Nightwings have dialed up here. So Shaughnessy will line up as the single back. Behind Struthers, who's under center. Motion man is Lewis to the bottom of the screen. Quick drop, Struthers, slant over the middle, catch made. First down to Jeremy Mosley. Love the read right there. So they send somebody in motion, and it left that area open right there for a quick slant because they shipped the line over to guard that slot receiver. I love the motion right there. You're trying to see if it's in man coverage or zone coverage. Right there, it was man coverage, and it was easy to do a quick slant for a first down. They go flip backs with two receivers to the bottom. The motion mills out. He'll line up on the line. Scrimmage next to the tight end. He'll pitch the opposite way with O'Shaughnessy. And Bailey O'Shaughnessy picks up seven. His best run here in the early going. That's him a second and three. And great job following behind offensive tackle Ian Allen right there on a quick sweep. Looks like they're, they're going quickly on the ball. I like it. Should be the final play of the quarter. Two tight ends to the same side. Wheeler is one of them. Ketchum is the back, and Ketchum gets the ball, but he lost a couple of yards as he's men in a hole by a blitzing defender. Number 27, Ryan Davidson, the corner. That'll be the end of the first quarter. Florida leads 3-0. You're watching the SFL on YouTube. Welcome back. Here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Call the north of Anthony Ellison here on the call with you. Denver down by three. They gave up a field goal on Florida's second offensive position. As they start the ball. Second and 13 following the loss of three. By their rookie tailback as Struthers will fire down the field. Got a man open. It's Mosley and Mosley. Approaches the 40-yard line before he's brought down by Ryan Davidson. The, the gift and the curse when you do a man blitz right there, when you're sending pressure. I want to say good job by Denver picking up the blitz. I love how the, the quarterback stepped up in the pocket and delivered a beautiful back shoulder catch right there. It was one-on-one -on -one coverage, 
and Southern and Strother was like, okay, I believe in my receiver to get this done. Good job picking up the blitz. Got to give credit to the offensive line there to do to pick that up. Ari Mills off the play action, but the blitz gets home that time. It's a loss of five. And Jesus Smith brings him down. And and Florida is living and dying by the pressure right there. And we saw it again. I love that he didn't get full off of the play action and went straight to the quarterback and got a sack. Now you're in a longer the second down situation here. They go five wide with a bunch to the bottom. Giving them trouble already. Here comes the blitz. They get rid of it quick, but it's incomplete. Throw underneath and tender for Logan Eel. Daniel Wright, the free safety, brought him down. Big old Renfro is the other free safety. Andrew Francis and JJ Bailey are the strong safety. Francis has been here 14 years old with Florida. Third and 15, empty back. Four different players have a sack already as Struthers has to bail out of the pocket. He's got a long way to go. He'll only get up over the 40, pick up of about seven. And that looked like that was J.J. Bailey coming from the safety blitz, who was able to recover and chase down the quarterback right there to stop him before a first down. I love the effort, non-stop motor. Punt is away and off the side of his foot. And Florida will get very good field position out of that one. Yeah, I think I think they wanted that one back right there, just off the side of the foot. Don't want to see that right here. Florida coming back on offense. I wouldn't change anything. Run the ball. You're having a great job with the running, mixing it up with the balance of different running backs. Cochran only won a four for seven yards. His one completion was to Bolesky. Cochran throws again, has to move to his Left throws and Kamazak just dropped the ball before he got leveled. It'll be second down and so far Ron is coming up snake eyes. Pretty sure he heard footsteps right there and it just lost track of the football at the last minute. Good job by Denver. This night wing defense is hanging tough. They don't give up very many points, only just a, about 17 a game coming into the weekend's games as Ron's back to throw. Fires down the field, incomplete, as it's another misfire by Ron, and Stephen Bush can't believe it. But if you keep on getting opportunities like that right there where Florida did, the pocket was clean and was able to stand in the pocket just a little bit off on the strike right there by Cochran. But the thing is, at the end of the day, when you have a clean pocket, you will make those completions later on. Go trips to the top, four wide in total. Caleb Giffis to the bottom. They're gonna go shovel again. Bolitsky is a long way to go and he gets there plus the first and more. So the shovel works that time at the Ellison to perfection. And second completion, second shovel pass right there. They, they, I love the call. You're not expecting it right there and Denver wasn't, you had them stop. There's four defenders right there around the ball carrier and but nope it's a spin cycle hit that hit that spin button go spin around it was beautiful i love it right there it's a first down from florida and it keeps denver defense on the field what a back-breaking occurrence for the nightwing defense who played the early downs really well but in the end the storm find a way to convert bush in motion to the bottom of the screen out of a split back field. Kamazak gets the ball on the dive up the middle. And he gets five, it'll be second and five. To your point, Anthony, why worry about passing when you can run so efficiently? Yeah, and when you run the ball effectively like this, you see why they are, they are getting third down conversions at a 54.26% rate right there because it's an easy third down conversion because it's less yards to get to the first down. Average yards per play, relatively close, but 
Only yards, only in favor of Florida with plays like that as Polecki pulls over the pile for another first down. And, and we're going to keep talking about it. There's, there's nothing special about it, but what's special is the blocking is phenomenal. Number 31 didn't have anybody to block. He looked to the left, looked to the right, and most of the Denver defense was on the ground pancake because the offensive line is just ready. They were hungry. They want that steak dinner after the game right here. So they're doing everything they can. They get an extra meal during the game with all those fantastic blocks. Is that throw isn't fantastic. In fact, it's intercepted and returned up to the Denver 32. Luke Schreiner picks it off out of the air and the Nightwings turn away the storm once again. And, and <laughs> that's, a, that's called a bait coverage. You act like you're going to play underneath. Nope, I'm going to just step back just enough. Went up and made a phenomenal interception right there. Is the reason why had a fantastic, great, great year and a great season and, career, and a great career. Denver needed that. Florida, I would have just kept on running. Join our second pick of the year. He had one coming in. Ties in second with Militia, who has two. If you look at Cochran's numbers, he's 2-2 two two to Boletsky. 6 plus that pick when throwing to anybody else. As O'Shaughnessy picks up 6, it'll be second and four. And and the problem that we saw the only time with Cochran is the interception rate is pretty high this season. And you just have to have that vision and be careful with that. Indeed you do. It'll be second and four. Catch him in motion. Flex out like a wide receiver. Struthers back to throw. Down the middle of the field. That pass is intercepted. Down the middle of the field and returning it up the sideline and running it all the way back to the 22-yard line for Florida is Daniel Wright. And we saw right there why Florida is ranked second in interception. That's the 21st interception of the season for Florida, and it was just because... It was an overthrow. If you throw the ball right in the chest, that's a first down. But when you overthrow it, you got safeties back there lurking. They're hungry. Francis with his first interception of the season right here, and it came at a big time. Ball sets him up at the Nightwing 22-yard line. Let's see what they elect to do as Ron will operate with three wide receivers out, two in the backfield. Pitch out. This is Boletsky. Boletsky up over the 30, picked up, up over the 20, rather, picked up four. It'll be second and six. Look at the coach on the sideline wearing the Hawaiian shirt. I love it. I like that. That's, the, that's my type of style right there. I love it. I need to get one of those. You know, they say if you look good, you play good. Well, apparently if you look good, you coach good, too. Mm-hmm. I love that. It'll be second and six. Steven Bush in motion to the bottom. Case on deep back out of the eye. Give. Case on. Stop for no gain. Quintana on the tackle. There's our Vandalay. There's that shirt again. Yeah, I need to know where he got that from. Third and six for Denver. They would love to cash it in for seven here. They got three last time they were down in the red area. Remember they missed a field goal earlier in the ballgame for 42. Three out in the pattern. Cochran back to throw. Has to dump it out to Boletsky. And Boletsky puts in the work, picks up the first down. And you but know what? He's injured. It's Quintana. Oh. Oh, no, who made a play earlier in the game, stopping him in the red zone right there. I really hope everything is okay with him. Florida, that's a, a progression read right there. You don't have to always throw it down the field. Checked it off to the running back. They were able to get a first down. That'll be first and goal as the clock is stopped at 5.01 to go in the first half. It's been a very quick moving first half of play. Ron Cochran up under the center Hall of Fame quarterback. Teammates call him the gambler. Vandalay, number 80 in motion. 
followed by Kindler. As the give is off to Boletsky, and Boletsky broken tackle, but not the second one. It'll be second and goal. Coming up under five to go in the first half. Like the game so far, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The SFL produces over 400 events a year. There's no one else that gives you more football. Don't miss a minute of SFL or SFLM action and help the channel grow through your support. Anthony, this is a big play. Absolutely. It'll be a run to back up Kaysen who stopped for no gain. And he's hurt. Oh. So this the reserve a... tailback for the storm gets injured. And you hope it doesn't happen to anybody else on the Florida team. We've already it... seen Quintana go down with an injury. It's a hard hitting game back and forth right here. And sometimes, unfortunately, those happen. You just got to be careful. Hope everything's okay. Looks like he walked off on his own power. Well, let's get back in the eye. Kamazak in front of him. Cochran back to throw to the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown! Stephen Bush with a nice grab. And, and that pass has some muster on it. And it has to be because it's a comeback route. The defense was going to collapse on it. I love how number 11 shield off the defenders just enough but then also the throw had to be important you had to throw it more on the inside instead of the outside right there if you threw it on the outside that could have been a pick six you throw it on the inside that's a six points for y'all great drive and a great throw by florida six receiving touchdown of the year for bush hit five coming in which leads the team in the short six play 23 yard drive is capped off with a touchdown by Stephen Bush, who waves to the camera. Curious to see what Denver's plan of attack is, now that they're down by a couple of scores. Kickoff is away. Yard deep out of the end zone, coming up the middle is Lewis, and Lewis, bump! Florida falls on it at the Denver 16. My goodness. You don't want that to happen. And I know you're trying to make a play when you, when you do that, but sometimes when you spend too much, you get dizzy, you get hit at the right time, and the ball dropped right there. Now Florida has it in the red zone, potentially can open up this game. J.J. Bailey recovers it. And it's another short field for Florida. Cochran under sent putbacks, too wide. Give up the middle for a pickup of seven. It'll be second and three for and that, Florida. And that Denver is going to try everything they can to, to stop them. It's really, it's really tough when you have to get back on the field in this type of situation, but I know Denver can do the best they can to stop them. J.J. Bailey, who recovered the fumble on special teams for Florida, number 42. Kamazak gets the handoff, and he didn't get him the first down, Anthony. It looked like he got it up here. Let's see if they want to. I mean, I don't think you can challenge it. Like I said, you have a high percentage on the third down rate. We're over 55%. So right here, I was just running up the middle. Get the first down, let the clock keep going. That's the fifth tackle on the game for Gotts, the outside linebacker. Pitch out. Boletsky. Forward progress that's in the first Italy first in goal. It was tough sledding in, in there. A lot of white jerseys around the blue jersey blockers. But first and goal nonetheless for the storm. Yeah, and that was good fighting for that first down. Oh, oh it looks like a challenge. Challenges. And we'll, let's take a retroactive look at the play presented by Retroid. Get your SFL console at goretroid.com. This is a very <laughs> interesting challenge by head coach Jeremy Vega. And what we're looking, as we always do, is we're looking for where 
the nose of the football if it crosses the first down marker, which right here would be the seven yard, the six yard line. It looks like it just depends because it looks like the ball was in his right shoulder, but he fell forward on the opposite. And the official says Denver wins the challenge. Coach has got to be happy about that one. And if you're Coach Vandele, I'm disappointed, but. Great well, challenge. Well, at least you get points off the turnover. Great challenge right there. What we saw was the ball was in the right hand on the right side, but he fell on his left shoulder, and the ball was behind the first down marker. That's why we got replay boost for that amazing technology. Indeed, it's truly eye in the sky situation as Ethan Sneed boots through his second field goal attempt to make it 13 to nothing. Drives may be short, Anthony, but they're getting points out of it. And it all started by Wright getting the um, the fumble off the, the the kickoff right there that led to three points. Florida with more points on the board. Denver, you want to be secure with the ball and see if you can do a drive before the halftime. 3.08 to go in the first half of play. And this kickoff a little bit shorter field than about the two by Lewis. He fumbled the ball last time. This time he hangs on to it. But check the marker. We got a piece of laundry on the field. Ooh, it's a clipping call on the return. The back of the night wings up a little bit. All the way at their own 12. You're taught at a young age, if you see the back of the numbers of the defender, let them go. If not, they're going to call that every time. And we will take over at their own 12. It's been a while since they've possessed the ball in offense. Let's see what the plan is. Down 13. We'll start with a handoff to O'Shaughnessy. They say it gained one yard, but Stoneville says you shall not pass further. And if I'm Florida, you get the ball back at half because you kicked it off to start with. I'm thinking about timeouts here if I'm them. See what they elect to do. This is two tight ends. To one side, Logan Keel motions to where Jeremy Mosley is. Thunder follows him. Creates a side picture for the quarterback, Struthers, who's back to throw, pumps, and down he goes. I don't know what he was doing, Anthony, but again, he takes another sack, this time back near his own five. Sometimes it's okay to throw the football away. In that situation, nothing positive was going to happen when you pump fake, throwing it off your back foot across the, the field. You might as well just let go of the ball and just throw it. But now you're in a situation... You're third and 15. Florida is going to come after you. Got to be careful. You're getting close to a safety. Fourth sack of the season for Pete Mitchell. They get the playoff before the two-minute warning. Struthers throws incomplete. Carroll on the deflection along with Francis. And it's fourth and 15 pass intended for Mosley. That was almost an interception right there. It was a very dangerous throw. Denver will have to punt. And this is the, on the other side of the team in the one. From his own end zone, the punt's away. Standing back in his 50s, Vandale breaks the tackle, breaks the second one, and will get tackled at the Nightwing 40-yard line. One minute, 48 seconds left to go in this half. Anthony Ellison and Florida firmly in control. Yeah, and you're setting yourself up. You're about 10 yards away from a, a field goal range. You have time to add more points up there. You get the ball back at half. Denver... Is, is those turnovers. And it's kind of tough to bounce back when you just have timely turnovers, an interception, and a fumble. Let's see for what Florida can do. Well, their defense has been playing really good in the red zone, even forced a miss out of Ethan Sneed, who had been perfect coming into this football game. 
Even got an interception themselves as Beletsky tackled after a pickup of one. And, and Denver's defense has been doing really well. I mean, for the situation they've been, been in, is only 13 to nothing. There's still a lot of ball game left. They're doing a, a great job. Cochran, 4 of 10 for only 40 yards, but he has a touchdown and a pick to his name. Throw back side, Caleb Giffis hauls in his first grab, and Florida uses their first timeout. Yeah, I love it right there. When you roll out and you, you have some offensive linemen roll out with you, it gives you more time in the pocket. And a good job throwing it backside. It was a backside slant right there for a first down. Cochran. The second completion to a wide receiver. That one for a pick of about 12. Ron Haynes. And the stats track for us. Back to throw is Ron. Fires incomplete. Uh, just a little too high. Hall of Famers. Benefit off so far, but Boletsky and others have been picking him up. Yeah, only five completions so far right here. Um, I mean, you don't have to really throw a lot when you have a good running game and the defense has been causing turnovers. You just want to be careful because you don't you want to leave with some type of points. It'll be a second and ten. Cochran quick drop. Fires complete. That throw looked really good to push his second grab and then the second timeout called by Flort. I like I like it right there. Good good throw. Get down. Call the timeout. Recognize where you are. You have one more timeout left. You gotta start thinking, do I want to take a shot in the end zone or just run it here and get the point and take the field goal? Too wide in the pattern. Dead end in motion is Nate LeMay. Signed in week six to replace Marion Zarko. Cochran back and throw. Down the middle, it's intercepted. Intercepted and returned up to the night wing 12 yard line. Number 57 for Denver grabbed it out of the air and Ron just committed a back breaking error for his team. The worst case scenario is that right there. You didn't see the linebacker sitting in that middle zone. You were trying to like force it into a tight window, which you didn't have to do. Florida, you can't abandon what got you here, which is your running game. And now Denver, let's see if they're gonna push it or are they gonna take it to the half? That was Mike Malowski on the interception, Quintana's injury replacement. Struthers throws, Logan Kill somehow catches it and steps out of bounds. Wow. I thought that was an interception. I'm gonna be honest with you. The, the, the corner actually played the route for the receiver right there and thought we were gonna be like going crazy. But good job, keep with the concentration right there. We were to catch it and get out of bounds so the clock stopped moving. And no use of timeouts either. So it's a doubly smart play. Evan Carroll read that one from Jump Street, but just missed it. First and 10. Ball spotted just short of the 25 Strutters. Turns, pitches after Shaughnessy loses the yard. And, it, and Tomello with his second TFL as clock runs. And the clock is running here, so Let's see, what are you doing? Now they flip the receivers up top side of formation. Struthers back to throw. Has to move around in the pocket. Will fire it. And it's intercepted. Ryan Davidson has it. It's coming back the other way. And he'll get knocked out of bounds at the Denver 25. Wow. In the first half already, we have already experienced four interceptions, two fumbles. If I'm not mistaken. And it's just the defense are doing exactly what they want to do. Right there, playing the receiver's route. When a corner does that, you're in trouble. I wouldn't have thrown it to him. But good job by Florida. Another turnover here. Let's see if they can convert. They're already in field goal range. The kicker is one for two so far for the game. 
I would just run the ball. I would not need to throw it. You just threw an interception. You have a great offensive line. Use it. Davidson is league leading sixth interception. He had five coming in and Cochran throws and that throw is intercepted. What is going on in this crazy game? Roll the third grab it out of the air. Is my mic on? Cause, Cause if I'm not mistaken, I said run the football. You don't need to pass it. There's nothing you can do there. Denver has a good defense. They have a ball hawking secondary. You, you, you want to just run the ball. This, we had three turnovers already in about 10 seconds right there. Now, Denver, be careful. Xavier Rowe, the third. He now leads the team with four interceptions. He was in a three-way tie with three coming in. Struthers throws, and that is completed to Logan Keel out of bounds with 24 seconds left. Man, this is like a crazy roller coaster. Uh, I mean, they, they don't call it a rival game for nothing right here. They they know each other's tendencies. They they have so much film on each other. It's and this is what happens right here. They're 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 scouting. Their scout defenses knows what's going on, and it's just a back and forth game. There's still a lot of ball game left. Ball stop. Clock's out with 24 seconds left to Shaughnessy on a carry. He's had a real difficult time to get going. Manages to pick up a yard. Daniel right on the stop. And I think, Anthony, both teams are thinking, you know what? We're just going to go into the locker room. So you think? I, I think, yes. <laughs> but we'll see. Oh, and what? we do reach the end of the first half. Florida leads 13 to nothing, but it's been a wild journey to get there. Anthony Ellison, your thoughts? Uh, it was a lot of turnovers in that first half right there. Um, Florida controlled the running game. When they decided to run the football, Florida was controlling the clock. They were pushing Denver back, but when they start throwing the ball, they, they lost their identity. That's when Denver was able to stick around. And great job by Denver's defense to come up with those clutch interceptions, especially in the last minute and a half of the second quarter right here. So now Denver, you're coming out of the half. You got to play that more stout defense right there. Florida, go back to the identity that got you to those that touchdown in the beginning. You ran the football nine out of the 11 plays in that drive to get you that touchdown. You don't want to forget about that. This is going to be a very exciting second half. 11 carries for Valeski in the first half. 34 receiving yards for him. This has been a crazy game. Florida will receive to start the second half of this football game. Colin North of Anthony Ellison, Statistician, Axel Raven, and Ron Haynes along with our executive producer, Cameron Irvine. Kickoff is a way fielder, just short of the 10-yard line. Get a us up the middle, up over the 30, up over the 40. And that's Willow I'm marking down. And let's kick it back to league headquarters and Cameron Irvine. Cam? Thank you, Colin. Arizona's in Portland tonight, and Ashley Jackson goes to Jay Ballmer for the touchdown. Cyrus Jive is hurt, but Portland is hanging tough. 10-10 late in the second quarter. Back to you in Fort Lauderdale. Nip and tuck affair in the Pacific Northwest. Anthony Ellison is Florida will take over first and 10 on their own 40. Boletsky on the carry up the middle. Pick up about four yards. Second and six. Look at the stats on either side. And average yards per play, surprisingly low for both teams. The key thing is there's that rushing yards, 24 to 97. Florida can control the second half by handing it off to your backs. I have two of them in the backfield. Kamazak lined up at tailback and he gets it. Squirms an Edward pickup of about two is a set up a third and four. 
I mean, when you have your you have your running back with 4.7 yards of carry, and then your fullback with 4.4, that's it's setting up for a a good day here. You just gotta know, gotta be careful in these situations right here. You want to pass the ball, get a quick slant out of it. Three wide man in the slot is Stephen Bush. He's been the most effective receiving target other than that guy, Bolabolski. Didn't go feel quick enough and though he stopped the yard short. Marcus Agrippa is going to come on for the punt for the Florida. And I love it. Tucker didn't make the tackle, but what Tucker did was slow down the runner for the rest of the team to get there to help complete the tackle right there and stop him before the first down. Agrippa gets this good boot away. It's going to be over Four seconds of hang time, but the ball takes a bounce into the end zone. Ball comes out to the 20. Eleven and a half point favorite of the Florida Storm. Over under 45 and a half. Now under looks pretty safe right now. Yeah, if you did bet the under here. They're liking the direction this ball game's going. Denver trying to change things. And they'll start with a run and get stopped for no gain by Smith. Second and ten. So keys to the second half for Denver here is you want to make more high completion, high percentage passes here, mix in a little run, but you know that you gotta pick up those blocks from the defensive ends that are crashing from Florida. Indeed, they have. The blitzes have been a real problem for Denver, especially in that first half. They have more people in the block this time. Throw is incomplete. Mosley, the intended receiver, tight coverage by Ryan Davis. You, you, you want to avoid giving up another five sacks. You gave up five sacks in the first half right here. Florida is bringing a lot of pressure. Good job picking up the blitz right there. And now it's just finding the open person. Third and ten, empty back. Struthers back to throw. Gets rid of it quickly down the field. Oh, Parker unable to make a play. And it'll be a three and out for Denver. And Daniel Wright right there showing why he is third in the league in pass deflection with now his 11th pass deflection. Just waiting. It's about timing on that. Because if you hit him too early, that's pass interference. But if you, you hit him too late, that's the first down. Perfect timing to knock the ball loose. Way not to get a penalty call on him either. We're getting too, too early to the ball. On his way, Vandalay fields it exactly at his 50. He'll take the ball over just inside Denver territory at the 47. Seven forty-three to go in the third. Axel Raven and Ron Haynes are statisticians keeping track of the facts and figures. Putbacks for the Storm, three wide. Cochran sends a man in motion, that is Bandelay. Playcock at four, they get it off. And off to Boletsky picks up eight. It'll be second and two. Just a just a simple, quick hit. It, it it gives Denver not a lot of time to react to it. But this is a good running game. This is what we see now. We're over 100 yards total rushing for Florida right here. And you can control the game in the line of scrimmage by plays with that. The longest run for both of these guys is 10 yards, but it's been effective, small chunks. Nothing explosive yet. Kamazak on the carry with a nice stiff arm. He's able to advance forward in about a yard, but it'll be third and one. Coach Vandalay is plotting what to do next. Yeah, and this is a, a big third down for Denver. If I'm Florida, I'm handing that ball off. No, I, I I got bulldozers in the front. Let them push it away. Got two guards and an outstanding tackle. 
Kamazak with the ball, but Denver was ready for it. In fact, pushed him back. He lost the yard. Outstanding tackle made by one of the secondary members. That's number 26, Jeff Militia, the veteran strong safety. And Denver defense is keeping them in. Another third down stop. Rip on the punt. And this one will bounce out of the end zone for a touchback. Six twenty-one to go in the third. First possession in the second half for the Nightwings. See what they elect to do. Oh, second possession rather. But backs pitch out. O'Shaughnessy, he's been held in check, picks up one yard there. So I'm, I'm, I'm different. I got to think about doing some different stuff here. Maybe some misdirection, passing on first down, trying not to be predictable. If I'm Florida, keep with the pressure. It's The pressure is, is making Denver panic and causing turnovers. Back to throw. Struthers underneath. Just short of first down is Mosley. Third and less than one. And, and great job on the comeback route there. Yeah, oh. I was wondering if they was going to do that because it looks like he was like two, three yards ahead of that first down marker, even with the contact pushing him back. Let's see where they're going to give him the spot. Let's take a retroactive look at the play presented by Retroid. Get your SFL console at GoRetroid.com. Let's see exactly where he was. Okay, so he turns ahead of the sticks. Ooh, from that angle, it looked like he's ahead of the sticks. This should, yep, he's about a yard, maybe a yard and a half in front of the sticks when he it's caught the, that ball before he was tackled. And the official agrees. Denver wins their second challenge, so they get a third. And that was another great challenge right there because you'd rather have a first down than third and inches, especially the way Florida is playing and the turnovers and all the sacks they got. So, great job keeping the momentum going. New set of first downs. It'll be a first and ten from the 30-yard line. Ari Mills in motion. Pitch out. O'Shaughnessy follows the tackle picks up three yards it'll be second and seven Anthony this is a club that over their last three ball games has lost by a combined 16 points three point loss to Indianapolis in week seven on the road in week eight to Portland and lost 34 27 then 23 17 last week to Minnesota Luck hasn't just been on their side, but that's a pretty good play right there. So trying to see bust one close to the midfield strike. And, and in those games, it's always been a player or two that has caused them the game. Or if it went the other way, we're looking at maybe a 500 or above team because they play so close. So it's not like they've been getting blown out. The worst loss was against DC and get in week two. So they have the abilities to win, it's just about putting it together. Things are looking up for the Nair. Stop short of 50 is mostly in motion. Footbacks and behind Struthers, who's back to throw. Off his back foot, tipped in the air, incomplete. Dangerous throw, Jesus Smith says no, sir. But I don't care how great of a quarterback you are. And Gene Struthers is a really great quarterback. If you are getting pressure in your face and you're not able to set your feet, it's going to be a long game. Florida is just, that wasn't even a blitz. They, they just beat him off the line. Second and 10, Mills in motion again. Do they run the toss off his side like last time? No, they will throw and the blitz comes from that side. And it's the defensive back once again. Andrew Francis on the blitz and Denver 
burned once again by aggressive storm defense. Stunt route. The guard tried to pick up the stunt that was going outside of the tackle and just couldn't get back there in time enough. You have to communicate that. When you see the stunt, the right tackle has to pick up the wide loop and defensive end or that's going to happen. Six sack of the game. Six different players with a sack. Struthers completion to Mosley underneath and he's able to get the yak for the first down, but Mosley is injured. Oh no. Uh, it's the third injury and yes, this is a hard hitting game and we hope Mosley is okay here. A big first down. Looks like he's walking uh, walking off with his own power. A big first down for Denver. And Florida took a gamble at the wrong time right there because now Denver keeps the ball. Remember, this is only a 13-point game. Two-possession game. 4-12. The clock stopped to go in the third quarter. They'll shuffle the receiving depth chart a little bit. Pitch out to O'Shaughnessy. Tackled from behind. They'll give a forward progress of a yard. Tomello on the tackle as we approach under four minutes to go now here in the third quarter. You know pressure is going to come from Florida. How is Denver going to make adjustment? They got one tight end in. Are you going to keep a running back in the block? Keep two in the block. No, this is a run to Mills. And only nets a yard setting up a third and eight. Third and eight here, so you 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 were real fortunate with the first down, last third down right here. Florida is going to send a delay blitz. It's going to either come from the edge or the defense end with a stunt right here. It's how you're going to guard it. Four grab stunts for 65 yards. It's mostly before he's injured. Struthers pass in the direction of Dylan Lewis, but ultimately falls incomplete. Another wide receiver. Number 85 was also in the area. And what looked like a promising drive for the Nightwing stalls out once again, Anthony. And it was a delay blitz. They showed three down linemen going. But the defensive coordinator, Art uh, Mandeli, was like, hey, I'm going to wait to after the snap to bring more people. And the offensive line for Denver just got confused. Punt is away. This is a short punt. It takes a Florida bounce out of bounds. And the Storm will get good field position out of that one. It, the 2024 SFL convention is headed to South Shore Harbor in Leak City, Texas, just south of Houston, July 12th through the 14th, featuring live games, flag football, golf tournament, tailgate, pool party, and more. For convention details, visit Simulation FL. .net backslash news backslash convention to reserve your room, see the event schedule and more. Can't wait for it, Anthony. So much fun. Get together with the community. I'm, I want to be there. I'm trying my best. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Fingers crossed you can make it. Pick up a three yards by Kamazak on the dot. Seven yards by Kamazak on the dive. It'll be second and three. And, and right here, this is this is your wheelhouse, Florida. Run the ball. You and take your advice, and Bolitsky does not pick up the first down. Very strange. I thought he got it. I All thought right. it was the first down. Coach Vandalay doesn't seem too concerned, however. No red hanky sighted. Get to Kamazak up the middle. First down. And this Florida ground game just continues to chew up both the yards and clock. When, when you don't get touched until four or five yards after you got the ball, it's blocking. It's your offensive line. You ran right behind your right tackle, right guard right there. And they just open, just open the hole right there to get to the first down. Give up the middle, Boletsky picks up nine. And it's second and one. And, and right there, once again, 
you're, you're seeing blocking all over. So right there, you saw the fullback that time that went through the hole and made the block on the linebacker. There's so many different ways you can help with the blocking. It's not just the first level. It's getting to the linebackers. It's kicking out the, the cornerbacks. The wide receivers are doing a fantastic job blocking. This is just an all-around beautiful performance in the running game. And that's a nice reward for Kamazek there. He blocked for Bolesky one play, and next play he gets a handoff and picks up a first down. So mutual beneficiary society right now going on for this Florida Storm rushing attack. First and 10, ball on the night wing 45 yard line. Boletsky on the carry. Only net himself a pickup of one. I tell you, this defense has been out there a lot for Denver, but they're still competing and still hitting hard. Yeah, and I love it. It's You know this is a rival game. They're not going to give up. They've been fighting every single week. So they're still in it. Just got to get some timely turnovers. Boletsky on the carry. We'll set up a third and three situation. For 45 seconds and counting to go into third. Six of 11 on third down so far as Florida. Cochran back to throw. Down the middle run. Haynes had it in his hand, but he was unable to grab it. Incomplete. Good play by the defender there, Anthony. And, and you know he can catch it. He got 35 catches for the season right there. I love the play because Denver was looking in the backfield for the running back. And it was just you got to come down with that catch right there. Good job with the hit with the safety coming up. And Denver, once again, will get the ball back. Well, the Nightwing offense gets another chance as they will start their drive once again from their own 20. Agrippa's leg just a little too powerful here this evening. First and 10 from the Denver 20. By formation, three wide receivers. No update on Mosley as of yet. Don't see him out there, number 84. He got hurt earlier. O'Shaughnessy on the carry. We'll gain five yards. It'll most likely be the last play in the quarter. Oh, there is Mosley out there. Put your four, 12, 86s, and 68s up in chat, folks. It's the fourth quarter. Chris Curtis, read us our rights as Florida's up by 13 over there. of Simulation Football League is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or account of the game without the express written consent of the league office is prohibited. APM Music is unrivaled music to bring your stories to life, inspiring every production with the world's most robust and constantly refreshed music collection, CDR technology, and world-class customer service. APM Music is the official soundtrack of the Simulation Football League. To explore their library and find a perfect track for your project, visit apmmusic.com. This is now six straight drives starting for the Nightwings, Anthony, that have started from their own 20 or worse. And always led to a punt, so it's hopefully something's different right here. Third and inches. This is a critical play for the drive as Wheeler motions. Resets. The other side. Ari Mills, the fullback, gets the carry and gets the first down. So, so far this game, the best drive for Denver was the drive before him, 11 plays, 45 yards. You, you want to have good plays like that. It's going to help you. You, wanna, you can get more than 45 yards in the drive. It just, it starts with that big third down conversion right there. My correction, it was seven straight runs. O'Shaughnessy, toss picks up two, Stoneville 
who's been busy from his defensive end spot, brings him down for yet another tackle. It's his third tackle, he's one assist. Got six total sacks by six different players. Give to Ash Ketchum. The first overall pick, his second carry of the ball game, sets up a third and five. Another big third down right here. You don't want to stop the drive to see what you can do if you can convert it. Ace Ketchum and Obet doesn't help things as Thornville now gets a sack. That's the seventh player. So Ketchum sets him up with a third and medium, but ultimately the tackle is unable to contain Stoneville. That's a loss of four on the play. And it was nothing special on, on that play. It was just a speed rush, and the tackle just didn't get his feet and get back there in time. And that's another sack. I think the seventh of the game for Florida right here, and Denver has to punt it. Fair catch called. This is Vandalay ball on the floor to 24. It was Ace Ketchum on the carry, not Ash. Florida, look at that. They have almost as many sacks as Denver has first downs this season. Just amazing performance. Right? Phenomenal performance by the defense. Vandalay in motion. That spells it out for you right there. 147 rushing yards from Denver, uh, from Florida, only 61 for Denver. As they add six more to their total with Kamazak. Yeah, and it's starting to run out of time for Denver here, but but anything can happen. We saw what happened at the end of the second quarter with all the turnovers and the interceptions. Let's see if they can do something. Second and four. Give off to Boletsky. Broken tackle. He's away. Tries to break the second one and does. But Lucas DeVore says you're not going any further. With well over 100 yards rushing, they did that in the first half. You see why they are third in the league with 71 yards rushing as a team right here you see it just because it's a team effort the, the blocking is a team effort right there and they're just pushing the ball under seven to go Cochran to throw and a heavy pocket lets it go down the field and our Vandalay open but he dropped the ball oh my goodness there was nobody around him before I say something about that I'm sorry, they average 122 yards rushing, six in the league, but you got to catch that. You, you know your quarterback having trouble with completions right there. You got to help him out. That was scary because that could have been an interception. 7 to 18 now is Cochran. He has the three interceptions plus that one touchdown pass. He's back to throw again, and this time he completes it to Stephen Bush. And I think that, ladies and gentlemen, is the nice hands catch the game. Brought to you by Retroid. Put a Retroid handheld in your hands and play the only video game with your player in it. SFL 4K23. What a grab by Bush, Anthony. And to get that pass off, what, what do you need? Protection. This offensive line is showing you, hey, we can run block, but we can also pass block right there. There was no pressure by Denver. So he was sitting in the pocket. He was looking at the, the time and checking to see what's going on and delivered a strike. And good job catching it and not dropping it. Give up the middle. Boletsky picks up five yards. Let's go back to Cameron Irvine. What do you got for us, Cam? Thanks, Colin. Portland down seven here and their backup. O'Sullivan finds the fullback. Jacob Farmer in double coverage for the score. Game is tied at 17, late in the third. Back to you in Florida. Very interesting 
Portland keeping it close. Meanwhile, Florida continues to grind the clock away as Kamazek picks up a first down. And what do we see? Stout blocking, double team blocking at the point of the contact. And I love the vision by both well, all the running backs today. Just being patient, watching the hole develop, and then just hitting it. Indeed they have. It's been a rushing clinic from the storm today is Ron Haynes, who has a couple of targets, but no grabs, motions. To the other side of the formation. Back to throw is Cochran. Dumps it underneath to Haynes. He catches that one, but doesn't get very far. Only pick up a two. It'll be second and eight. It might not be a big play, but it's a completion, and that keeps the clock moving. It's his first catch for two-yard gain on four targets. Second and eight. We're gonna throw it again. They go over the middle. Oh! Nate LeMay, the tight end, had it in his hands, but Lucas DeVore, the free safety, had other ideas. Yeah, coming from the free safety position with a lot of heat, a lot of steam flying in and making a great pass breakup before the ball can be caught. Third and eight, four wide to the bottom. The most in one of them is Caleb Giffis, number 18, to make a two by two set. Offset single back is Boletsky, and they're on the shovel, and it works again! Boy, a beautiful spin move for the first down, it'll be first and goal. We've seen the shovel pass three times today. And all three times have been very effective. Right there, very tight window. But why was he able to get so much yardage? Because the blocking up front has been absolutely stellar. I might sound like a broken record today, but I do not care. Because that blocking has done it for Florida today. Indeed it has. Kamazak lines up at the halfback spot. Clock winds under 430 to go. He gets the ball, plows ahead past the five to the four. It'll be second and goal. Tomorrow's SFL action is headlined by Baltimore and Atlanta. A pair of five and four teams gunning for the playoffs at 6.45 p.m. Eastern. Other action includes Cantonet Motor City, Fort Worth and Indianapolis, Alamo City, Tulsa. With a full weekend schedule, visit simulationfl.net. Season high in all purpose yards for Bo Boletsky. He's up to 146. To try to add some more to his total. No, that's Kamazak. He'll be stopped at the line for no gain. It'll be third and goal. So Florida has to now start thinking. So if the if the score stays where it is, Florida will be going stay undefeated 9-0. And you enter, you're going to Jacksonville. You got to be careful in these last few games. You want to make sure your team is healthy going into the playoffs. Indeed. You're already seeing your backup tailback get seriously injured. You want to keep the rest of the guys healthy for the rest of this football. Cochran, it's play clock going down to two. Give off the Kamazak on third and goal. He doesn't get in the end zone. Stop short. And Gray stopped right there by the Denver defense. The, so it, the Denver defense has been playing really well today. They've been put in some rough predicaments, either from like just a, a, a bad punt or a interception or a turnover. But the fact is, with all the turnovers that Denver has, they only give up 13 points to one of the top teams in the league. That's, that's a good job right there. Ethan Sneed on for another field goal attempt. He's made all his short ones. He missed one from 42 to begin the ball game. This one from 20 yards. Let's the sticks. It's now 16-0 with 2.33 left. 73-yard drive taking just over five minutes and 16 seconds off the clock. Anthony, this is a Florida team that's number two in scoring with 30.3 points per game coming in. 
And here they have, they're winning, but they're only winning by 16. We saw at the end of the second quarter that anything can happen. Denver's still in it. Get a touchdown or any of the points here on the board. Their defense is capable of making turnovers happen. They have three interceptions already for today. That does They can add four and five to it. The game is not over with yet. They just have to string together good plays, and you have to protect the quarterback. So important. Oh, interesting footnote here. The Nightwing franchise has played 177 games. They started life as the San Antonio Vaqueros. They have never been shut out in the history of the franchise. That has been since season 11. They've been located in a Mile High City as Gene Struthers pass incomplete. Ryan Davidson knocks it down second and 10. And what's going to be tricky is they, Florida knows that you have to pass the ball, right? So they might not send that many people to the quarterback, but they're also they're going to be playing a lot of zones. So if they send three people, they're going to have seven in coverage, and you just got to be careful because they're going to hide it with zone coverage. Three down linemen, man in motion. For Denver's number 85, that is non-contracted player. Throw complete to Lewis. First down as they run the hurry up. I like it, I like it. And they will struggle. Down the middle, Parker unable to haul it in. Fox out to 2 11. And, and that's a tough catch right there. I know people are, oh, why you can't catch it? The fact is you got somebody behind you and in front of you, and you're trying to secure the ball, but you know that somebody's coming full speed to hit you. It's, not, it's tough. And, and that right there was going to be, that's a good throw. Let's see. I will go back to him and see what, we'll see what you can do. 2-11, second down. Lewis in motion to the bottom. Back to throw Struthers. Sets, fires, it's intercepted. Intercepted by Evan Carroll. Returned up to the night wing, 33 yard line. Clock stopped at 205. And, and earlier in the game, I, uh, I joked about how they could have had a pick six when they stepped in front of it. There it is, they, they got it right there. It wasn't a pick six, but they just stepped in front of a out route there. And that's what we've been seeing from Florida today. They, they have seven sacks, three interceptions. It's really tough to win when you're, you're giving up 10 turnovers. And that's not including the fumble right there. It's just been a really tough day for Denver's offense. Seventh interception for Carroll in the year, second of this ball game. Ball on the right wing, 33. Chris Kamazak on the carry. The stuff last scrimmage clock will run down to the two minute warning. That man, our granddaddy, has got to be pretty happy with his defense. They're up by 16, firmly on their way to continuing their undefeated season. So, even when you're undefeated, there's stuff that you can learn from. If I'm Florida and realize that I caused 11 turnovers and I only have 16 points, that's something I can work on. You can always work on something, even with you being a top team in the league. Something you can go back and watch on film to see what you can do better because you still got three games and you still have tough opponents going forward, including uh, Cannon. So, the Cannon Classics in week 13. So, that's something to work on. Denver, I really love how much you're fighting right here on defense. Two good teams. This has been a good game. And they've forced three interceptions from Ron Cochran. But like you said, Anthony, they have the three interceptions they've thrown themselves plus the fumble. Let's go back to Cameron Irvine. How is that... Uh, Portland game going. Thank you, Colin. Well, an upset is brewing, or so we thought. Ezekiel Love with the one-yard touchdown there, but then Arizona strikes back just now, uh, getting a touchdown. You can see the action there live. Tied at 24 with 6.22 to go. We'll see you there when you're done 
in Florida as Denver exhausts their timeouts. Back to you. Thanks, Cam. Exciting stuff going on. Nightwings burn their second timeout. And for Denver, their remaining schedule, you mentioned Anthony that they're playing the Canton Classics. That is in week. That is for Florida, they're playing Canton week 13. They travel on the road to in state rival Jacksonville. But Denver next week will take a trip south of the border to Mexico City to take on the Aztecs. Before two straight home games, one against Motor City and another one against Tulsa to close out the year. Florida closes out the year versus Carolina. Third and nine, clock is running. Ron Cochran under center, turns, gives to Chris Kamasak. It'll be fourth down again. And looks like another field goal attempt coming for Florida, Anthony. Yeah, and, and Denver just playing to the final seconds right there. It's just been, it's been, it's been a good fight. Florida, the second half, have went to running the ball, and that's how they control the game. By playing timely defense, getting key sacks, and just running the ball right here. And it's just been tough for Denver to get something going. Indeed, it has. The night of the uh, storm have totally dominated TOP. Need on for another field goal attempt is good. It's now 19 to nothing on score. I've just been handed this back from the uh, truck. A 19 to nothing final has never been a final score in the history of the simulation football league. Wow. <laughs> Parker returns it up to the Denver 18. That's surprising information. It is. We could be witnessing history, you never know. So got some time left. Nearly 2,500 games, according to Cameron Irvine. Maybe on the precipice of witnessing something unusual, but there's still 18 seconds left to be played. Gene Struthers back to throw. Down the middle, incomplete. Receiver looking for the football. That is author the second tight end. Clock stop at 15 seconds. And Denver is still adding pressure here. And it isn't it's just the defensive ends are just getting wider than the tackles right there. It's just it's been trouble for Denver. Back to throw Struthers. Underneath, but in bounds. See if they can get one more playoff. Get things set, they spike it, it'll be fourth and two. Clock stop, three seconds left. Yeah, they just have just enough time to not be in the record books. So throw it deep and just see what happens. Be fourth and two out of the shotgun. Handful of times we've seen this take place. Struthers throws down the middle field, incomplete. That's the ball game. Denver Nightwings will fall to the Florida Storm, 19 to zero. And it almost started the way, and it almost ended the way it started with a sack right there. It's just been pressure all night. It's tough to get the ball out when you just have so much pressure like in your face all around great job by both teams though as the team shake hands that's the game anthony elson who's your play of the game i'm curious as to that. 
my players of the game is the Florida offensive line and the fact that you can keep your quarterback upright. I think they didn't allow a sack at all. If not, it was one sack. And then they, the rushing performance, well over 150 yards rushing by both team, by both players here. And then keeping up for key passing plays. It's all, it all started with the front. So I'm giving it to the whole offensive line for Florida. Good choice, my friend. Look at the average starting field position. The opponent's 45 yard line was for Florida. Denver was stuck on their own 20. Ron Cochran, he didn't have the greatest of passing days. Lots of turnovers, but Kamazak and Bolecki, boy, the two of them really put in the work. And you just, you see why Florida is where they are, but Denver, the fight that they did the whole entire game has been, has been impressive. They got the turnovers where they needed it. They just couldn't convert it into points. Each other is only 80 yards passing. Nine first downs. Nightwings put up a good fight, but my play of the game has to go to Bulabaletsky. 47 yards receiving at five grabs. Over 100 yards rushing. For Anthony Else, I'm Colin Arthur. Thanks to our set assistants, Axel Raven and Ron Ains, executive producer Cameron Irvine. Thanks and good night. <laughs>